One of the things we really look forward to with Marvel movies is the post credit sequence, and we get one with the Grandmaster. Yes, yes, if you stay till the end of the end credits, you, there's another minute of, uh, I have something to do with it. And it's all, what you see is one of those moments that's all improvised, too. We made something up. I only saw it once, and I'll, I'll watch it again, you know, saying something about something. Yeah, uh, this is the one with the Grandmaster. Yeah, yeah. So that, and that was um, actually another piece where we shot for, I don't know, for over an hour of just Jeff riffing different things. And there's various versions which are hopefully uh, will be in the DVD where, where Jeff does the Sicario National Anthem, then tries to get all of the people to sing along with him. And he goes on about all the different ways that he could hopefully rebuild the empire of Sicar with the help of the gladiators and all of the ex-prisoners um, and things like that. So, and that again is just like something where I like the idea, well I like knowing that the Grandmaster is alive at the end of this film. Just hope, for, you know, I'm just hoping that, you know, it's somehow he'll come back in another film because it's, it's worth it. He's, um, you know, he's so watchable and such a delight. How does the national anthem go? From memory, we just made it up on the spot. I think it was something like, Sakaria, Sakaria, toilet of the sky. So, I can't remember. It's something about just all the wormholes, all the crap being dumped from, from the universe into Sakaria is what made it great. It was like, you know, Sakaria is, is the place where, you know, when you lose a sock, it's, that's where it ends up. We improvised, I'm telling you, he would keep the camera rolling, Taika, uh, why did he and say, uh, Jeff, uh, and then he'd make stuff, he'd say, say, say this, say this, say this, okay, talk talk about this, and I was like, okay, great, da, 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 you know, and they would just have to kick us out of there to do the next setup before we ran out of film, you know, we would just make keep, keep playing. And with a big movie like this, there must be some things you shoot which don't make the final cut. Yeah. So I wondered if you had a favourite deleted scene we might see later on. There are, there's going to be a lot of de deleted scenes in the DVD and on the digital content. There are actually like more extended versions of scenes. There's really great stuff with Jeff Goldblum just riffing on about various things and um, which brought me great joy, but was you know going to make the film 10 minutes too long. So um, there's those things, uh, there's a lot of stuff between my character Korg and Thor, there's a lot of stuff where we just went on and on for far too long, um, but just enjoyed ourselves and just sort of kept that loose and kept that energy going, which again I think is something that ju it just translates onto the screen where you feel, you know that the filmmakers and everyone involved just enjoyed the hell out of the process. Cool, is so funny. What was that like playing that character and directing the film? It was really fun for me because the character's not big enough to distract me too much from directing and not and, and it's small enough to just be a little bit pointless, uh, but in a great way where it's, I kind of liken that character to a sort of, to a, a he's almost like a mum or an auntie in the film. Then he's like this, you know, cause he's made of rocks and he's like rough and, and, and tough on the outside, but on the interior, He's soft and delicate, like um, you know, like a nest of daffodils. And um, I think in a movie as crazy as this, with all these insane characters and you know action sequences and you know very outlandish things going on, sometimes you need to just come back and check in with a gentle character who's just going to give you a cuddle like your mum and just you know when you've grazed your knee, and you just come back. And she's going to go, it's okay, everything's going to be okay. Okay, now off you go back out into the car and go play with the Grandmaster and the Incredible Hulk. Okay, and so. It's just nice to check in with, you know, with a, a, a helpful, gentle soul now and then in a movie like this. Aww, Auntie Cork. Auntie Cork, yeah. Could we see him appear in another Marvel movie, do you think? Oh, I don't know, actually. Uh, I'm sure that he would love to be involved in another movie. Um, yeah, he's just, uh, you know, whatever he can do to help, really.